Hello everyone and welcome to Control. This game has just been released on Steam, although I believe it is a year old already. This is the Ultimate Edition, which includes the DLCs and RTX capabilities, which will be on for this video. I'm very excited about this game, I've heard amazing things. So without further ado, let's start. As always, I won't be talking through any of the cutscenes. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Anyone here? Alrighty. That was a pretty epic introduction to this game. RTX is looking very sweet. This is a, uh, a well mopped floor. <laughs> it's safe to say. to open collectibles okay certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials unauthorized weapons pages laptops watches phones gaming devices anything smart number two pencils any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept Okay. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Speaking of mopping. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. 
you need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You're a hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hollowed. I've done enough night shift loader jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti the janitor is a friendly face in my book. If you say so. <laughs> the cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Wow, this uh, this game is very captivating. I have a lot of questions. Bad 
that shit right in there. Just knock down the sensitivity slightly. Apologies. So sensitive. Health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore health. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. What? Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? I wonder what year this is set in, like looking at everything, it's got a bit of a 70s, 80s vibe. Jesus. What? You can't let this happen. 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 Wow, that um, just wow, <laughs> that whole scene reminds me of uh, Fear, you guys ever play that game? Like the, uh, the FPS? That really caught me off guard. <laughs> what? Alright. I 
think having unlimited ammo that uh, auto recharges is quite a cool idea. It kind of lets you focus on the actual game. And I'm not just saying that because I'm missing 50% of my shots, you know? Look how creepy that is. This game is on another level. <laughs> What do we have in here? Uh, collectibles. Um, I'm not sure what I picked up then. Me some dinner reservations. Reminder if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. Is that me? One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object that looks of power like me. to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff. <laughs> Toilet roll physics. Executive, there we go. Earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Keep instinctively pressing R to reload. That's not how this game works. Is there a guy over here? Alright, this guy. This guy's a big a big beastie.
please, talk to me. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Okay. There's some subtle Silent Hill vibes going on with this game as well, which I'm, I'm quite a fan of. So, we can fast travel with these control points. Obviously, we can't go anywhere else as we've run another one. Um. Cleanse the Hiss Corrupted Agent. To make it's not one of you guys. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look down here. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. Burrow too deep, ripping it out 
rips them apart. Jesse, over here. We need huh. to make a plan, Jesse. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof, this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Emily. All right. Just got this telephone. I don't know why that might have been uh, open now. Um. Let's see. An 
old style jukebox. Some uh, like amplifiers. Range. Sure, the uh, the reasoning for that will be apparent a little later on. All right, so I've come from the boardroom. Let's see. Uh, see a shimmering light. There it is again. Our welcome message. It's a pick up a key card or something, I think. I hesitated because I thought, well, he might not be bad, but um, <laughs> he was. What? It's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Okay. Let's have a little look down here. Oh, here we go. I don't know you guys if uh, you're wearing headphones or not, but with the volume up and the headphones up, man, this audio is hella creepy. Not quite the stealth approach I was hoping for. Got this sort of spooky shield. There we go. Anything else? Yep. See that last guy come in.
Just like that, another area cleansed. We'll have to navigate through the communications department. Communications. Just through here. Sweet. On the right track. Um, stay on the this floor first, I guess. <laughs> what? Through that. An object of power. Oh. Reach the object of power to cleanse it. The object of power is like a toddler having a tantrum. I guess stick to the low ground, sprint across, don't mind me. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. I can... Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. It's pretty epic. I mean, that is badass. come to this like block world every time I uh, learn something new I guess I have to admit, this is pretty satisfying. Just absolutely launching. There you are. 
You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. <laughs> How'd that guy get up to me? Unfortunately, I'm... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Unfortunately, I'm a very jumpy player in pretty much every game. <laughs> I do, I do apologize for that. Um, I wonder if I just, no, okay. This is, yeah, I mean, this is where I came from. Ah, okay. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. So they press the um, the telekinesis button rather than the interact button. Locked. Maybe there's a key nearby. Oh dear. This must open the door. Oh, hang on. Alright, I think I'll stop it here for the first video. Um, I've not really spoken much in this to be honest, but I really feel like speaking does not benefit this playthrough whatsoever. Um, let me know what you guys think of this game and let me know what you guys think of the RTX capabilities of it. It's really nice. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. There's not many games that can use RTX, so it's nice to actually put it to use for once. Anyway, that's all from me. Take it easy, guys, and hopefully see you on the next one.